Ole Sheeran believed that an architecture should work with the environment and not against it. As such, the interlace was designed with the environment around it in mind. He also envisioned container blocks being stacked on top of each other to create a unique, stunning vertical village. The concept is bold in that it breaks away from Singapore's standard typology of isolated vertical apartment towers. It also explores a dramatically different approach to tropical living. An expansive interconnected network of living and communal spaces integrated with the natural environment. The birth of something truly majestic, stylish and stunning has begun. The Interlace will be one of the most ambitious and unique residential projects in Singapore. Demolition of the existing Gilman Heights began in November 2009. The demolition of the site took almost six months to complete. This was a major feat considering the challenge and the scope of the project. As the excavation process began, the first challenge has already occurred on site. The excavation works has proven to be harder than expected because of the presence of hard boulders and rocks on the site. This is not such a common sight in Singapore's construction sites. To overcome this challenge, Warhub mobilized breakers and crushers to speed up on the excavation and earth removal process. In order to speed up the construction process, the interlay site was divided into zones to facilitate the substructure works. Various stages of the construction process, such as demolition, excavation and piling works would take place in these zones according to the construction sequence. The process is meticulously planned to maximize cost and time savings. For example, the entire construction of the basement work took only seven months, which was a tremendous achievement considering the size of the basement. As the site progresses from the basement construction to the super blocks above, one of the main challenges is the construction of the transfer deck. After countless rounds of brainstorming and examining various types of scaffolding systems, Warhub decided on the heavy-duty shoring system. The shoring method would lead to more cost savings as a result of continuity of work. Most importantly, due to its full all-round enclosure, it created a safer working environment for the workers. Indeed, one of the biggest challenges of the construction of the interlace is the construction of the transfer slab. Because of the size of the transfer slab, which spans more than 30 meters, Post-tensioning is required for each of these slabs. This means stressing of the tendons to create sufficient strength to support the entire transfer slab, which does not have a supporting column in the middle of it. Additionally, because of the unique hexagonal design of the interlace, the base transfer slabs are also imprinted with hexagonal patterns into the concrete. This is done by laying cast-in PVC groove lines on the transfer slab before the casting process. Altogether, to construct a full transfer deck, a total of 15 casting has to be done. This innovative idea has helped Warhub in its productivity and in turn ultimately realized the design intent of the architect. The site is currently pushing ahead and working on all fronts flourishing rapidly over the past 15 months and is moving full swing towards its final goal of the construction of the interlace.